Hey everyone, it is Anna Renia from Classic Virgo. Welcome, welcome to Spain. <laughs> welcome to my balcony in Spain. I wanted to pop on here and answer a question that I keep getting, which is, Anna, I want to start a business, but I don't have the necessary skills and experience. How are people going to hire me? I am not an expert. How do I get those skills and experiences? And so I wanted to talk about that. I'm hearing that a lot from people who want to start career coaching and really from anyone who wants to start a business. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Um, and I love talking about this because um, I know what this is like. When I first started my business, I felt the exact same way. Um, I'm an introvert, and so it was really hard to put myself out there. It was really hard for me to sell my products and services, and it was really hard for me to consider myself an expert. Like, why would someone want to hire me um, to work with or to speak at their events? Like, why, why would they hire me? So that's what we're going to talk about today. Um, really, it's very, very important to understand that it is very easy to DIY this yourself and to get, I, I went back and I got my um, MBA, but that is absolutely not necessary. And that's what I'm going to talk about today. It's kind of like the do it yourself MBA, the do it yourself degree, and you absolutely can do that uh, very affordably as well with so many resources that are available online right now. So what I found, and I, like I said, I went back and I, I did get my MBA. This was many, many years ago, even before I, I knew I wanted to be an entrepreneur. Um, I worked for a consulting company and I worked at that consulting company during the day. And then in the evenings, I went to business school. So I was a busy, busy person. And this was before I started my business. But I look back at that MBA program and I look back and I, I know without a doubt, I have learned so much more starting my business, doing it myself, learning as I went, um, educating myself and really, truly all the things that I learned in my, in my business school. So there were a couple of classes, like when I think about it, that do stand out to me, like there was a marketing class that I took in my business um, program. And one of the projects that we had, we had this group project. And the reason I started my blog is because during that marketing class, my my task in our group was to go look at look at other blog other mom blogs because we were trying to market baby clothes was was our group project is figuring out how we could market market this baby clothing program or store. And so that was my job. And I started looking around and seeing like, oh, other people are making a living from blogging. I want to do this too. And the next week we had a week off school. And that's when I started my blog, Classy Career Girl. This was in 2010. Um, and so that that class definitely, definitely when I look back at my business degree and I look and I see what it what I really learned in that was like the confidence that I could be an entrepreneur. And so you can get that from doing a lot of different things. You don't need to go back to business school to build your confidence, but it really challenged me to see like what problems are in the market and like how, how I could build my confidence to be able to, to solve those problems. And when I started to see in my MBA program, I started to see like other people were starting their businesses. If they could do it, so could I. And so that's what I mean. Like the biggest change for me during that business school experience was like the confidence that I could be a business owner as well. Even though I'm an introvert, I could still solve people's problems and create my own products and services. But beyond that, I learned about business by being in business and doing this myself. So there's a couple lessons that I have learned as far as get, gaining your own experiences and skills and doing this yourself rather than going back and getting a degree. Um, the first lesson is you want to figure out, you want to dream as far as like where you want to be featured and what you want your resume to say, what you want your bio to say. Um, that's what skills and experiences do you want to be on your resume? Do you want, like if you had your dream website and your about page, think about your future you, like what would you want to be listed on that website, on that about page? and write it out like it's true. I want, so here's mine. Uh, I want to be a featured writer in the magazine, real simple. I want to have a monthly column. So there's a classy career girl column every single month and real simple magazine or some other magazine similar to that. Um, I want to be a monthly contributor to the today show. I want my planners in target. I want a fashion line a classy career girl fashion line of work clothes. Doesn't that sound awesome? So these are all my dreams, right? I'm not there yet. But if I wrote out my bio, like 
this is who Anna is. She is a monthly contributor to the Today Show. She has her own column in Real Simple Magazine and her planners are at Target. Let's write it out. Let's dream what we what we want want our future website bio to be, right? And then number two, lesson number two then is like, how, are, how am I going to learn to do that? How am I going to figure that out myself? I don't need to go back and get a degree, right? Other people have done this. Other people are monthly contributors to magazines and featured on the Today Show and have their products in Target. There's lessons here that I can figure out myself. And so I just need to start learning how I'm going to accomplish those things and add that learning time into my calendar. What do I need to learn how can I create my own bio, create my own resume? And continuous learning is essential for that professional development. Um, so maybe it's daily reading or it's podcasts or it's audios first thing in the morning, joining programs and, and showing up for those live calls or listening to the recordings or doing trainings. It could be free, it could be paid, but you really want to block out that time and make sure that you are continuously learning. I like to learn something new in the morning before the kids wake up. I'm always listening to podcasts. If I'm going on a morning walk or something like that, I'm, I'm, I'm listening to an audiobook or something to learn, which brings me to number three, the way that I built my expertise and experience in career coaching is through the wonderful library. I, back in the day, checked out all of the books about job searching from my local library. And I mean, all of them. And I read all of them. And that is how I built my expertise in career coaching, that and interviewing other experts. So there was a whole year where every week I was interviewing um, career experts and career authors, and I was asking them questions. So not only was I like reading every book about career coaching from the library, but then I was also interviewing an expert every single week. And this was like 2012, I think. That was the year I did this networking challenge where I did this these interviews. You can find them on my Classy Career Girl YouTube page. They're old, <laughs> but they're still there. And I was doing these interviews and learning so much from other people. Um, so we want to see what are those books that you can study? What are, you know, what, who has already done this and has written a book about the step-by-step -step guide to doing what you want to do someday? There's so many free books out there or low price books, audio books. Um, we're big fans of Libby and Hoopla. Our library has those two options that we can use. That's how we listen to audiobooks and read books while we've been traveling this whole year. And our kids have been learning and, and reading um, through that option as well, too. And then also like LibriVox. That's another thing we've been using for audiobooks. Um, there's so many free books and audiobooks out there. I have learned this year because I've had to. Um, so if someone was going to get started, who wanted to have the bio that you want to have someday, what are they, what books are they going to read? And I, I learned what books they were going to read by asking people. So um, that's next lesson is informational interviews. Do you want to talk to people who are already doing that career that you want to have someday or have the business that you want to have someday? You want to look in your network and figure out like where are you underinvested in your network based on where you want to go. So when I wanted to be a career coach, I looked in my LinkedIn, I looked in my network and I was like, I don't know a lot of career coaches, even though I want to be a career coach someday. And so guess what I did? I added, I started meeting people, networking with people, contacting other career coaches, asking for 15 minutes of their time so I could learn from them and ask them what their daily life is like and, you know, some tips that I could, they could give me as far as how I could have the career that they have someday. And so doing that, I did that with um, career coaches and other entrepreneurs as well, too. That's how I learned what books to read. That's how I learned how to start an email list is because there was this, uh, this great entrepreneur I talked with and he said that I should start an email list. And so I did the next day. And he told me what my, he told me I should start helping people with interview answers and that's what I did. The next day, I just did what someone who knew more than me told me to do. And that was just through like a free informational interview. Um, so that's another great way to just start self-educating yourself through books and through co contacting people and talking to people. And the last thing really is investing in the right training, because there are going to be times and there are plenty of times where I have paid um, for systems and frameworks and, and to make things so much easier for me because I got stuck. So if you're feeling stuck, it might be trying time to invest in yourself. There's no better investment than yourself. Um, so my trick, what I usually do if I am thinking of investing in some sort of co coach or co co course or program, 
I will get I will get all the free content that I possibly can from the person I'm, you know, possibly interested in working with. I will consume all their free content, podcasts, if they're doing live workshops, videos, um, YouTube, I will Google them. I will like try and consume as much free content. If I'm making progress with their free content, then I know I am going to make progress in their paid program. That's kind of, you know, what, what I have learned. And so, um, you know, if you go through their free content and you haven't made progress and you haven't had any wins and you, it's kind of a little bit more salesy than actually like you're actually getting wins and making progress, um, then that might not be the right product for us. Right. But if, their free stuff is so good that you're getting wins and improving and learning and getting ahas and clarity, then, then it might be time to invest in that person's product because if then you're going to make even faster progress. So um, a great example, last, yesterday, we did certification live for our career coaches. And so it was a four-hour event where our um, career coaches who are in our current cohort for career coach certification, they came and we condensed our certification program into four hours. Now, of course, there's other requirements. They're not done by all means, but we condensed five modules of jam-packed information. We condensed it into four hours and gave them the most important things that they need to know. And they walked away. I asked them for feedback at the end and they walked away like this was the fast track. Like now I get it. Now it all makes sense and they aren't struggling anymore. They know exactly what step they need to make. And so for someone, it could take them, you know, six, six months to a year, even many years of like wanting to start this career coaching business. And I condensed it into four hours instead. So someone can make progress in four hours and get what they need, or you can spend years trying to figure it out and Googling and YouTubing and, and trying to figure it out yourself and staying stuck. And so I would much rather, if I'm going to invest I would much rather invest in the four hours. I will pay happily pay for that because our time is valuable because ultimately an investment is something that is going to pay you back. And so um, if you're learning how to grow a business, if you're learning about something that can generate income or improve yourself to be able to make a higher salary in the future, that's going to pay you back faster, right? So, you know, in a day I can learn it and I can start making more money or I can wait six, six months to a couple of years to start making more money. I want to start making more money today and I want to learn that now, right? So it pays to invest in yourself when you know it's going to it's going to give you back the money that you want. So, I hopefully this has been helpful for you. I encourage you to dedicate that time to studying, to self-educating yourself, to really dream about what you want your bio to look like, what you want your website about page to look like. Where where do you want to be featured? What are those goals that you have and then figuring out who knows how to do that? Who has written a book on it? Read all the books you can on it. Go to the, the library. Use the free online audiobook resources you have. And then do those informational interviews. Talk to people who have done the things that you want to do. They're going to give you the fast track. If you need to pay for it, pay for it because it's going to help you invest back into yourself so that you can make more money down the road. And so that those are my tips for you today. Hope this has been helpful. Um, I see a couple of you chiming in. Hi, Sorsha. Hi, Didi. Thanks for commenting. Um, hopefully this has been helpful and let me know, send me a message um, so I can hear your questions. We're doing a lot more podcasts, um, obviously, as well. We do them every week. And so if there's any questions you have, just feel free to send it my way so I can answer them on the podcast. I'll see you guys later.